The Gold Coast is known as the Glitter Strip, but the shine has worn off for many of its homeless residents. More than a million Australians are affected by poverty and severe hardship. During Anti-Poverty Week, the ABC takes a closer look at the issue. 33-year-old Cameron O'Keefe knows what it's like to live rough. He slept in a tent for two years until a chance meeting changed his fortunes. I was showering in the toilet block in Southport here and I found out a bloke came in and asked me if I was homeless and I said yeah. He connected with homeless outreach organisation Rosie's who put him in touch with other service providers. Now he lives in his own home. You have to wait a while but you will get a place, a nice one bedroom unit all to yourself and it's good. Cameron O'Keefe's situation is all too familiar. Volunteers fed dozens of struggling Gold Coast residents in a Southport park this morning. You know, with, with the economy, it's, um, it's becoming a bigger and bigger issue. And, and that's across the board, basically. Half a million people call the Gold Coast home. Census data from 2011 shows just over 34% of the population survive on an income of less than $400 per week. Service providers say it's those people who are in a perilous situation. All it takes is the loss of a job or a relationship breakdown. But most of them don't have any support, family support or community support. That's why they end up on the street. The financially disadvantaged also have access to the Gold Coast Street Library. Volunteers say a good book can help people open up. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Oh yes, I've read that. It didn't help. <laughs> the aim of the project is to engage empower and inspire those who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. Anti-Poverty Week runs all week. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Gold Coast.